Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars. And yeah, I wish I didn't have to do this video, but... Shannon Joy, I don't know what her real name is, uh... is a local radio personality on WYSL. I think they broadcast out Avon, I'm not sure. At any rate, I listened to her on the AM, uh... Station uh, 10:40 a.m. and she has been attacking Donald Trump virulently. Now she claims to be a born again Christian. I'm calling bullshit, basically. Uh, take a look. This is her Facebook page. Take a look at her uh, picture there. That's uh, straight out of Kami, Russia. What well, used to be Kami, Russia. They're not commies anymore. Uh, she's been ruthlessly attacking Donald Trump. And I think the thing is that she's actually working for Hillary. I'm going to catch hell on this one, I know. Now, a couple months ago might have been something else, but we're getting down brass tacks. We know who it's going to come down to. It's going to come down to Hillary versus Trump. And Trump's less than perfect. Hillary's more than a crook. But, uh, anyway... She's been ruthlessly attacking Trump, along with Mitt Romney, who I'll deal with separately. That guy is a piece of work. I'll deal with that separately. She's been... Uh, Trump is the enemy as far as Shannon Joy is concerned. She promotes Ted Cruz. Now, Ted Cruz, I would support. Uh, he would get my vote, no questions asked. If he uh, became nominee. But he is lackluster and lacks a fire that the president really needs to have. Especially to beat somebody as wildly well known as Hillary Clinton. And I don't think he's the greatest of managers. Trump is an experienced manager. I mean, he deals with a very large organization. In case you haven't figured it out, I'm a Trump supporter. But uh, her, Trump, is the enemy, not Hillary. Same thing with many of these Republicans. They're lining up to knock Trump out of the race. That guarantees Hillary a win. Almost guarantees it. Very little chance, as far as I can see, that uh, what's it, uh, Ted Cruz can take Hillary down. Now, all three of them have problems. Hillary's got the email thing, and she has got all a whole world of problems with that. I doubt she'll be indicted. Trump has that Trump University scandal. I haven't investigated it. And Ted Cruz has his own problems with can he legally run or not. The lawyers have said that he can. The Shannon Joy is just attacking him, attacking Trump viciously. Then she ner has the nerve to turn around and talk about Christian love. I don't think so. Does anyone uh, have any questions for me as to why I'm an agnostic? I've seen Christian love before, and I, I'm i calling bullshit for the most part. So, let's take a look at her Facebook page. Talking back with Shan Joy, anyone sick of Trump Love Fest 2016 on talk radio, please tune in to my daily radio show podcast here. 
she really hates him. I mean, this is vitriolic hatred. Same as uh, Mitt Romney, you know, well, Mitt Romney used Trump. We'll get into that other, otherwise. And look at this comment. Are you kidding me? Please don't kill a messenger. Why the heck did Donald Trump Jr. grant an interview to an alleged white supremacist radio show last week? This program has interviewed David Duke many times. I do not think Trump is a racist, but this sloppy, novice crap is what will lose the general election. Jeez. Well, uh, you can't expect them to go on shows. You can't expect people just to isolate somebody because they interviewed slime like David Duke. David Duke is not a crook. David Duke is just... You no, know, he's a nutcase. He... For one thing, is a Holocaust denier, and I have no use for Holocaust deniers. When I got our troops, as they went into Germany, they saw one death camp after another. Isn't that enough for you people? Uh, she claims to be conservative, but she's working, essentially, to get Hillary elected. That's what the bottom line here is. I don't think there's any question. And so are most of the Republicans. The Republicans are working with the Democrats to take down Trump so they can continue with the good old boys network. Ted Cruz would be okay with me. I'm okay with him, but I'm just afraid, well, I know, he's just going to go along with the crowd and it'll be business as usual. That's what we've been getting. At least Trump is going to shake things up if he gets elected. He'll shake things up, and some of the good old boys are really scared about that. They don't want to see it. Don't make waves. Just go along. That's basically what uh, Shannon Joy wants. And she wants Hillary by uh, default, because if you knock out Trump, Cruz probably will not defeat Hillary. Depending on what happens with the email scandal, of course, that I can't predict. So, uh, Shannon Joy, I say this to you. Why don't you just come out and say that you're for Hillary on your radio show and leave it at that? Why don't you just be a Hillary supporter? I think you are anyway. I think you've obviously demonstrated that you're a Hillary supporter, so why don't you just come out and say it instead of giving us this BS that you uh, support the Republicans. She says that she would leave the Republican Party and will not vote for Trump if he gets a nomination, which means she's going to... Who knows what she'll do? I don't know. I wanted to vote for Bob Barr the last time, and I changed my mind at the last minute and voted for Mitt Romney. I held my nose. I literally hold my nose when I go in the voting booth when I'm voting for somebody like that. I would probably vote for Donald Trump or Ted Cruz. No problem with either one of them, other than what I've cited. Well, she is just, just on a radio show, it's just vicious, vicious hate directed at Trump. In the meantime, and to me, all she's doing is working for Hillary. I'm not taking that back. So, uh, Shannon Joy, ma'am, why don't you just re-register as a Democrat, go work for the Hillary camp, and leave it at that? That's what I'm asking. As far as I'm concerned, you are a Democrat. I'm Artifacts of Mars. I'm not taking it back. Thanks for watching.